In this video, I'll go through everything about the CS50 Introduction to Computer Science Certificate from Harvard University, what happens after you complete it, why you should take it or if you shouldn't take it, and everything you need to know about what it is. I'll go through everything in this video. And also some important things to keep in mind if you're deciding to get this one, which I'll tell you about in the end of the video. So make sure you stick around if you're considering taking this one, so you don't make any mistakes, which I'll tell you about, because it's going to waste you so much time, energy, effort, and even money if you do it the wrong way. So let's just get right into it and talk about this certificate. The first thing that we sort of have to figure out is essentially what it is. And before we do that, we need to head back to another page. As you can see here, CS50 has multiple uh, programs and multiple certificates. And in this video, we're only going to be focusing on the uh, the most simple, the, uh, the most classic CS50X, which is their introduction to computer science. Now they do have lots of other ones, which I'll talk about in other videos, but in this one, we're just gonna talk about this one. And I'm also gonna essentially explain the differences a little bit, but we're gonna be focusing on this one. Now, what is this course? Well, essentially what it is, it's a, um, sort of a self-paced course that's 11 weeks long. It's 10 to 20 hours per week, and it's about programming. You'll dig into multiple programming languages, which I'll show you in a second. It's an English, a introductory, introductory level course, and you can audit it for free, which means that you can actually go through the material for free. But if you're looking to get a certificate, you will need to pay around 149 bucks, depending on your location. I will show you some, uh, some ways to make this more uh, affordable it's really soon, but essentially this is the, like, the beginner st stuff, the basic stuff. Um, it's about computer science, as you can see. Uh, data structures, algorithms, programming, and web development. And some of the languages that you'll dig into is C, Python, SQL, JavaScript, uh, and also some CSS and HTML. So as you can see, some of them are a bit, a bit more difficult, um, but it essentially means that you'll get a, um, a basic level understanding of multiple programming languages and a really good introduction to computer science. Now, you'll also actually get into get to dig in, into some of the other concepts. You'll get to dig into um, the concept of abstractions, algorithms, data structures, encapsulation, uh, resource management, security, software engineering, and web development. So it's just really gonna set you up. It's usually, um, one of the first courses that they take at Harvard University when they're actually studying on site. And what this basically means is that it's going to give you the same introduction introduction that a Harvard student would get when they're starting to study computer science. Now, it's important to know that this is an introductory level course, so you will need to study something else if you're looking to really, really take it further, but it's gonna give you a really good understanding of the basics. And um, the way that you can actually get this one is on EDX, as you can see right here and you can enroll over 4 million people have already enrolled so it's definitely one of the most popular online certificates uh, overall and definitely in computer science and as you can see all of the things that i've told you are confirmed here now i'm, I'm going to show you a little bit of the more specifics as you can see these are some of the main things that i told you about before and these are the ways that you can study this one you can study them in a, a, a certificate i'll tell you about that soon there are no prerequisites and it's inter introductory. It's offered by Harvard X, which is their online learning um, institute, basically from Harvard themselves. And EDX is also owned by, I believe, MIT and Harvard. So uh, or originally founded by them. So it's definitely a quality website in that way. Now, as you can see, these are the instructors and not super uh, important, but as you can see, they're actually um, like direct professors and lecturers from Harvard University of Computer Science or their uh, uh, computer science branch. Quick reminder, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and how to level up your career because that's what I provide you with weekly on this channel completely for free. Now let's continue with the video. This is another page where they show you some more information about how you can actually study this course because uh, this is what the, the actual real course is. Um, but if you're studying this online, as you can see, you can study it. Um, if you're not a student at Harvard, you can study it for free via open courseware, which means that you can actually study it for free. But if you're looking to do this on, and I'll leave the link in the description, by the way, but if you're looking to actually like do this in a more structured format, get a certificate and do it through um, EDX, which I really, really recommend, it's, much, it's a much more pleasant experience, then you'll do it on EDX and um, highly recommend it. So as you can see, you can get a verified certificate um, from EDX. You can also start a professional certificate, which means that you'll do like multiple courses, um, but that's for another time. I would just recommend that you get started trying trying this one out, and if you like it, you can then also add in these courses 
um, as you would like to. But essentially what it is, is a introductory level certificate that's going to give you some basic understanding about computer science. Now, we're going to get into essentially the pros and cons. There are lots of pros to this one, but the cons are really important to so make sure you stick around because they might, um, they might sort of be very meaningful to you and um, determine if you should take this one or not. So the pros is that it's very affordable. The price is very affordable for the quality education that you're getting, considering how much your Harvard uni um, education costs, which is like, I have no idea, but it's a lot. Um, and what that basically means is that you're getting the actual quality education, you're getting a certificate if you pay for it. Um, it's still very, very, very affordable. I believe like, like 150 bucks for a actual certificate from Harvard themselves or slash EDX. So it's just a really, really good uh, affordable deal. The other thing is the study form. And I like that a lot because you're essentially able to study whenever you wish. And it's going to make you like, you can essentially study whenever you want to. And that makes it very accessible for uh, people and it makes it accessible to study highly recommended for those reasons also the form that it's self-paced is going to give you something else um, you can study it faster if you wish to you can also do it slower if you would like to do that the other thing is that it's going to give you its um, introductory oh my introduction it's sort of an introduction to the area and that, that means that um, also forgive my bad I'm writing by the way I'm using a, a pen and um, what it basically means is that it's going to give you an introduction to multiple areas of computer science. It's going to give you an introduction even to like data structures, algorithms, some basic f stuff. Um, and if you do want to like continue, you will have to learn more, which I'll talk about soon. But it's, it's a very good um, introduction. And also the fact that it's very reputable. Reputable. It's a very well-known institution, both EDX and um, Harvard CS50, like both the course and the uh, the program, so highly recommended for those kind of, those reasons. Now the cons are a little bit interesting because essentially the only real cons is that it's not a um, it's not as valuable as actually attending Harvard, of course. Like it is a online course, but I to be honest, I think that to some extent it might actually be better because considering all the like the, the price, the uh, you have to actually get into Harvard, you have to do all that kind of stuff. It's you're able to get quali a quali really quality education. You're even able to get a certificate and you're able to do it for literally basically free. Like it's very cheap for the uh, thing you're getting. So yeah, um, the other thing might be that if you are looking to um, become more advanced, then the, it is actually an introduction, like I said, over here. So you will need to specialize if you're looking to continue. And that might mean that you have to do some projects on your own. You might have to do something like that. And uh, yeah, another another little bonus thing that I'll add in is that you'll actually do projects in this one, which I highly, which I think is really great. Um, that's gonna help you build a portfolio. I talk more about this in other videos, so subscribe if you want to learn more about this. But it's, that's really gonna be, be uh, beneficial for you uh, in your future job searching. So. All in all, I would definitely recommend CS50. I think that CS50 is still great in 2023. So there, but of course there are other options that you should maybe look into. You could do something on Coursera. You could also start a programming course more specifically on some other platform. Um, I'll leave some links in the description that you can check out if you're interested, because I think it's CS50 is great, but it's not the only option. And especially nowadays when we have so many things, um, it's important to not get overwhelmed. So if you do feel overwhelmed, then I think you should just get started with it. But of course, it really depends. Um, and I'll leave some other options in the description. That's pretty much it. And I wish you good luck if you're starting CS50. It is a great course taken by a lot and lot of people, as you can see. Uh, wait, let me just get this up. A lot of people. And it's very appreciated. It exists for a reason and it's from a quality institution. I highly recommend it. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I post videos like this all the time. That's it. I'll see you in the next one. Check the links in the description for more.